All right, guys, it's microneedling day. I'm so excited to share this with you. I have told so many people in like my real life about microneedling and, and the results that I've gotten. I'm going to try to get the results from like my previous doctors, um, but no promises there because honestly, I don't know if they like share that because I don't know. But yeah, I'm gonna try to get that. Um, but I will share my, like, pictures and stuff that I've gotten, um, with my granita link, like, my self pictures. But obviously I don't have, like, the before and after, because, anyways, not the point. The point is that we are getting my granita today. I haven't gotten this in a year, and the results are so fucking good. And I'm so excited to get it again. I couldn't find anyone that did, like, the girl that I did it with, she did, um, Amnion. So that's like the amniotic fluid and that's so good for you. The results I had with that were like fucking insane. But yeah, I couldn't find anyone that did that till now. It is a thousand dollars, but um, I think it's so worth the thousand dollars. I didn't pay the thousand dollars today. Um, I did a Groupon. Don't fucking sleep on Groupon. Like, yeah, I only paid sixty dollars. So. Yeah, I'm not sure if they're going to do the Amnion today. I just wanted to see how they did it and, like, see what you get for the Groupon and kind of, like, that whole thing. But, yeah, I'm going to take it with me. We're going to see together. But either way, microneedling is so good, even if it doesn't have the Amnion fluid, like, so fucking good. But, yeah, so let's, let's go see. This is my face before. Um... I feel like with the camera you can't really tell, but I'm actually doing so good because of my previous microneedling. Like if you see my old skin, horrible, but I mean it's still kind of bad. Like you see like little red everywhere, you know, red bumps and the microneedling will take care of that. But yeah, this is my skin before. And also I don't even wash my face. I sleep in my makeup all the time. I. I mean, I do wash my face, but it's like the next day. Um, I sleep with my makeup all the time, which I shouldn't. I know. Don't tell me in the comments. I know, but I just do. And then I'm not on my skin routine right now. I should be, but I just... I've been, you know, life has been crazy right now. I've been moving. I've been unpacking, packing, um, like new jobs, finding new jobs, starting the new jobs, just so much in such a short period of time. So yeah, I will be getting back on my skincare routine, which is why I'm starting the microneedling because I feel like that would just give me like a jump start into like a good skincare routine. But I will be doing microneedling every six weeks. So, but I just wanted to let y'all know, like, how it is, because I love it so much, I do. But anyways, let's get into it.
Yeah, I'm probably not gonna get stabbed. Yeah, I know, and this, so it's not what I expected to happen. Wow. <laughs> All right, so I didn't film the procedure. I'm so sorry, but that man scared me, Loki. Um, but as you can see, my face is very red. It looks like <sighs> my face got sunburned. Um, and then I do have um blood and usually like i'm not gonna lie usually i have more blood than this like all over my face so this is not even that much but girl the pain that the, this is the was the most painful microneedling session i've ever had i've never had pain like this um usually it only hurts like at the tips because it's so like bony right there like there's no like meat or anything is just skin and bone so like at the tips of like your forehead I would say like your jawline under your eye and that's really it and then the like nose bone right here that's really it everything else like it doesn't hurt bro I didn't even get close to my fucking under my eye because that shit fucking hurted and Honestly, I think th it's it's crazy. It's ironic because like this place was called a pain management place, right? And I think this man had like a kink for pain because like before we started, I told him that like um, I've done this before and that like it's it doesn't really hurt that much. Like just like the t you know just exactly what I said, and he was like, okay, whatever, like. Blah blah, and then like another practitioner came in, or the nurse came in, whatever, to like ask me questions and whatever. And then um, he had told me that they usually leave it on longer, like the the lidocaine, because they like to go deeper. Okay, right? They did not leave it on longer. Like they left it on for thirty minutes, which is a normal time. But then like this man was like going in it, like Loki, it hurt so bad on the forehead, like the whole forehead pain it felt like i was getting a tattoo which like it's obviously doable like i can you know maintain that but like damn i've never felt it like that before with microneedling but then when he like finished like the forehead he was like um he was like are you doing okay like does it hurt and i was like yeah um it kind of hurts um but like whatever you know i'm just noticing he didn't even like do the nose that good like the nose is not even done well anyways but he was like oh like did it hurt and i was like yeah but it's like bearable whatever and then he was like um he was like oh you're crying a little bit and like wiped my tears i didn't even know i was crying but whatever and then when like i told him it was like bearable he was like it's okay we have a long way to go like like saying like he's gonna hurt me even more and then he was like oh this is just the first round let's see how you do the second round like he just kept making little comments like that i'm like bitch do you do you purposely want to hurt me is that what you are intending anyways um this thing was only sixty dollars so I kind of knew that it wasn't going to have like serum because I've had places where they only did like the microneedling. They didn't have no serum and you could add the serum for like $200 more and it was just like, you know, like it's supposed to come with it. But either way, um, so I'm going to add um, hyaluronic acid because this helps with like the... I don't know, microneedling? And then, it's actually crazy because he asked me while he was doing microneedling. Um, he asked me like, oh, like, when did you last get your lips done? And I was like, that that was a weird question because I, it's literally been two years since I got my lips done. Like, actually two years to like the day. And I feel like my lips don't look like I got them done. You know, I feel like it went away really fast. But even if it didn't, like the lips... We're only supposed to stay for like 12 months, but I honestly think they, they went away in like a month. Cause like, I did not see them. Like afterwards, it like looks like my normal lips. Um, but yeah, I was like, it was like a year, whatever. I mean, two years. 
And then he was like, oh, like, he was like, oh, unless you just have, like, a big bottom lip or whatever. And I was like, I do. I do have a big bottom lip. But I don't know if, like, that was, like, supposed to be a compliment or, like, he was, like, saying, bitch, you're lying because your lip looks big, you know? I don't know. But, like, who would just go get lip injections to make their bottom lip bigger than their, their top lip? Like, look at this. That's why I wanted um, lip injections to make my top lip bigger. Like, that's the whole point. Like, like lip injections to, like, make it even. <sighs> oh, my God. Anyways. One thing I did notice about this one is that um, usually afterwards, there's, like, this, this, like, sensation where, like, it feels like it's raining on your face, which is, like, like even hours later, it's just, like, drop 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 you know all over your face and you know it's not logically like raining because it's not fucking raining you know and you're not feeling it anywhere else besides your face but yeah i feel so fucking cool and i didn't feel it this time like like right now i'm not feeling it but either way that was my Microneedling through Groupon. I feel like I wouldn't sleep on Groupon, even though like this wasn't the best like microneedling. Like, I cannot talk. My mouth is still numb. I really can't even move my lips to be honest. But even though this wasn't the the best microneedling situation I've ever had, I think for sixty fucking dollars, bitch, I'm gonna do it again. Sir, make me bleed again but like it's actually crazy he did not do my nose that well like but honestly i was so in pain like i was just like ready like let's go i don't even care you know but yeah i will say for 60 dollars amazing but for like they're without the group on their fucking session their microneedling sessions are a thousand dollars which, like, babe, no, never do that for this place. Never pay $1,000 for that because they did a horrible job um, for $1,000. For $60, amazing job, amazing job. For $1,000, no, babe, don't go there. Don't even breathe in their direction. Like, no, you can get, like, microneedling for, like, $350 and... It's a way better job than this. Like, it's, yeah. No. But for $60? Hell yeah, bitch. You'll see me there again with that group on. Anyways. Yeah, I love you guys so much. And let me know if y'all have ever had microneedling. If y'all plan to have microneedling. Um, y'all will see a couple videos. Because I'm going to go film some videos right now. But you can't wear makeup for three days. You can't be in the sun for three days. And you can't do, um... Something else for three days. I don't know what it is, but yeah, there's no makeup, no sun. Basically, oh, working out. You can't work out for 24 hours. Um, but yeah, so I'm not gonna wear makeup, but I'm gonna go film videos. So my face is gonna look like this. So you'll know why if you watch this video. And if you're here from another video, then thanks for coming to see why my face looks like this. Um, but I love you guys. Bye.